Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this graphic and they wanted to know, you, they can get it to work what they want it to do, but they don't know which one's back minus front or which one. So we go minus front, it does that. If we go minus back, it does that. So it does two different things. How do you know which one is front, which one is back? There's really no way with the exception of looking at it in the Docker. And if we go to Dockers and objects, the one on the bottom is going to be the front, the front layer. So let's select all these and let's go back minus the front. And what's left over in the front was showing. So let's do this. Let's change these rectangles. Let's put the rectangle above the eclipse. Now let's do the same thing, back minus front, and you get that. So the top layer, well now it's all one layer, but if we back up, the top layer was on front and this is the back layer. Now, if you're just trying to do that and you want this shape, all you have to use is a smart fill tool and you get that shape. Or if you want that shape, just use a smart fill tool and get that shape. Or like we had in the other case, if you want this shape, you've got that shape. So you can use the smart fill tool instead of doing back minus front or front minus back. Front minus back is a big thing a lot of times. And I'm just trying to think of a scenario. Um, You know, it's just a, when you have a lot of parts and you can't really do that. But just, uh, and a lot of times it has to do with the order you wrote them. So the, the lip should be front. So I'm going to select them both and go back minus front. And then the lips was a front because it was down at the bottom. So this is your front and this is your back. So let's just do... And, and a lot of times, I don't care if I'm just doing this. I'm just going to do one, and if that didn't work, I'll just do the other one to get it to work. I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.